Welcome everyone to the first video in a series of two about animations. The first video we're going to be concentrating on how to set up your animation and then animate a switch, specifically the blinker stick. I will then show you how to implement it in the animation.sui file so it can be used by the game. The second video will be how to animate a dial with a needle pointing to a gauge. Again, I will also supply information necessary to input it into the animations.sui file and so they can be implemented in the interior of your truck. Let's get started. First, let's duplicate our interior node. In this case, it's the day cab. We're gonna rename that animation. Now our root node is at the same location where it should be, and we're gonna apply the correct pathing. At this point, we wanna think about adding our armature, which is gonna allow us to animate. Now we've added the armature, we're going to add it to the animation. Our primary bone will be the root bone, named root, and we're going to duplicate each of these nodes off of this particular one. We want to parent the second root or the second bone rather to the root bone and we're going to name this particular one steering underscore wheel or w and we'll move it to the steering column in this case and then we want to align that so that the Y axis, which is the axis is facing uh, north in this case, is approximately the same angle as the steering column. That's close enough for now. We're gonna move it again right now You can see the other bones are pointed in quite a different direction. So we're gonna go ahead and change all these that are not in the correct direction. And so we've now edited that to its rightful place. All right, there's bone number one out of the way. Next, we're gonna work on the switch which is in this case going to be the blinker stick. First, let's just select the stick, select the end and put our cursor there. That way we can move one of the bones directly to that location because that is going to be the rotation point of the stick.
And here we are adjusting it at a later time because it was not quite angled the correct way. The reason why we are doing this is because the more the angle that there is that's not proper, if you will, it's not going to move in that same plane and you're going to have to make a lot more adjustments to it within the animation instead of just rotating around a specific axis. All right, let's animate this. First, we're gonna drag the piece up into the animation. Then we're going to apply it to the armature by using Control P. Now we wanna make sure that that particular piece has a vertex group named the same in this case, blink underscore stick. We select all of the vertices and assign that to that stick. Now we can go into pose mode and we can rotate and see that it moves that stick itself so we know we're ready to create the animation so we're going to rename this blink stick go to the action editor create blink stick in the action editor select it from the list in the right under the active animation settings this is going to have three positions, one, two, and three. Let's zoom in to our locations. to change this to either normal or local depending on which works best for what you're trying to do and then you press R to see which way you need it to go and the specific letter so X Y or Z Now position one is turning left. So that's why we're going to bring the stick back towards us to apply it by pressing I and selecting it there. Position two is going to be the default position. So in this case, we're gonna select two, put everything back to zero Uh, w is 1, X, Y, and Z are 0, and that's going to put it to its default position. You can then press I there, and then go to position 3. We're going to rotate it up for the right signal. Now we can go down and verify the animation works by selecting the animation player and pressing play. left, middle, right, left, middle, right. So it's working, beautiful. After we export, you'll notice here,
air brake PR. As well as blink stick. That's the middle format. In this case will be a PIA for the animation. And then once you convert it, you'll see the PMA for when it's ready for in-game. So blinkstick.pma and airbrake PR PMA. So this is what your folder should look like. You'll have the pit, piss, pim. I know, piss, funny. This is the skeleton information. This gets written into the PMD PMG but it is separated out as that's the information in the armature about what the bones and how they move and where they all are. And that gets written directly into here. So you don't have to worry yourself about how there's only 23 items here and 24 there. That's a normal thing. So those are the two that we did in the video here, blink stick and air brake pressure. Here's the animations.sui file. This file contains all of the animations necessary to make the stuff work inside your truck. You'll notice that this truck is completed, so all of the animations are listed. However, when we showed you blinkstick.pma, this is where you put it under blinker animation. On the SCS wiki, which I will li link in the description, you'll find all the codes for the animations. Many animations the stock SCS trucks don't even have. Um, you can have quite a few. If I recall correctly, it's something on the order of 65 to 70 animations, all individual inside the truck. Not every truck includes them all. This particular animation we're doing today is the blinker underscore anim. So you'll be putting that here, linking to the PMA, Anything you see with a double slash or a pound sign or a hashtag, if you're a young whippersnapper, as they say, this has been commented out. So the wiper stick doesn't exist in this truck. The engine brake stick doesn't exist in this truck and so on and so forth. So those you won't find animations for, and you can comment them out if you want to leave them in there as a plan to put them in at a later time or you can delete them all together if you know that's not something that you're going to include in the interior of your truck. If you've made it this far, then hopefully animations is something that you're going to try soon. This is a rarely covered topic in how to mod SCS games, so I hope these specific instructions for both switches and dials will be able to help you animate the interior of your truck. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.